um, forage conservation. Who can tell me what that means? And give me a method of conserving your fodder. So one method is hay. See, I, I leave the list there. I look at things and somebody point out to me. Silage hay, leaf meals, pelleting. Those are methods of fodder conservation. And I think right now, with how the climate is changing, it's something that we have to practice more and ramp up. Like at Bowles, we have serious drought conditions. When you guys go there, you'll see it. We don't get rainfall, rarely get rainfall. If we don't start doing silage and packaging or pelleting our feed or doing what you call hay, we pastures won't have any grass. I'm telling you, the drought is serious and who don't believe in it, too bad for you. So silage making, simple process. We call it fermentation, anaerobic fermentation. So basically, have a bag or a drum, I will come pack it with grass, add some carbohydrates to it, in a case where you don't have too much. Like if you're using, for instance, king grass, you might want to add some molasses. If you're using sugar cane, you don't have to add no molasses. You have a lot of carbohydrates are in it to allow for digestion. But what the main thing that you want is airtight. And once you achieve airtight, you can have a grass like this being stored for nearly three years, no mold growth or anything. I mean, the, when I came to Bowles, this was one of my first something that I tried doing a research on different grasses and the silage. And I have this up to today, 2016. And this was made in 2012. No mole growth. Perfect, well stored, airtight. So we want to achieve this on your farm. I can do silage in many ways. Plastic drums, which I think is the easiest method. I think that's what you're going to learn later, how to make plastic drum silage. Cheap, or if you have a pit silo, you know, with my cost if we dig a hole and do that type of stuff. I recommend plastic drums or plastic bags. We've tried plastic bags. You take a plastic bags tight and leave it out there. Pack them on one, just them have them compact, and you're just as good. Um, suitable for silage making, I'll give you some king grass, corn, sorghum. Ideal. Give you a good quality forage, high energy value, and a good amount of protein, especially the sorghum. What I like about the sorghum is that though, like like at Bodles, I push sorghum than corn, king grass. I remember plant three acre of corn to say we're gonna make silage, chili. And before I could get one of the corn, when I go into the field, it's a man with a bag of corn <laughs> run out of the field. When you drive, when you go by when you go by Bodles, you go over a train line. On the train line are the corn them that them have a sell to people. <laughs> So corn to me and people is an issue. And somebody talk about that, the competition between yeah. man and animals for feed. <laughs> and the advantage of the sorghum is that, for instance, bodles, we have what we call saline water, saline soil. Sorghum does well in saline so soils and saline water. Then, because it has a it's kind of toxic in the early stages, animals don't really graze it. So the cows walk past it, look at it, and they don't trouble it. When it's very old now, they may go in and pick on it. But it's something that I can keep out there and I will have a problem with the two foot thief or the four foot animals in that one eat it off. But king grass can, you and man and the animals in the competition fight. So I kind of push sorghum as the way to go. Here, everybody knows what here is, reduce the moisture out of the grass. It's like drying. And it don't have to be no bossy bale or no bossy circle bale. Once you cut grass and dry it, that is here. Much, that is it. So let's go cut some grass, have a little shadow, you dry it on, and I say, hey, all right? You don't have to spend the money by now. Once it is here, once it dry, I hear. You know the same, the hay while the sun dries? Yeah. All right. You don't have to. It's, it's, just for, it's like packaging. They want to reduce storage space, so you don't want to have it loose. So then bail it, so you can pack it up in a storeroom. That's the only reason why you bail it. If you don't have a bail? Fill up, that's, cut it and dry it. But what I recommend is that, I recommend that in some grass you might have too much moisture. That is why sometimes you have to press it. But if not, just get the grass pretty early before it starts to build up so much. And just put it down there. Make it dry. Mm, that's hay for you. The animal would consume more of the hay. Yeah. Dry matter intake increase. You have a lot of water in the succulent grass. Provide them with water, yes, but they won't eat as much compared to the hay. You know what I'm saying? This allows to reach room and feel a bit better. So yeah, man, they will eat dry. It's good for them. Height, not out of fiber. A matter of fact, the nutrients is condensed, so you're getting more, you're utilizing more nutrients out of it in this condition compared to when it's full of water. 
um, leaf meal, we use a high protein. So remember this, the high protein for the leaf meal. And we can dry them out in the open on a piece of concrete or you make a little thing and you, and you dry them. Your gyrocidia or your mulberry. Perfect. And we recommend drying again, they consume more. And you condense the nutrients. This is air dry. This is us out yeah, sun. Because I realize it's open for Yeah, man, it's out. This, I would recommend this though for some of us. Probably at Bowles where we don't get the rainfall. We can do this. We can chance this. But we have what we call the solar dryer. So it's in Colombia. Cheap. Um, it raised up off of the ground. About three feet. There's mesh at the bottom so air can flow. Because you know conventional current. So here rises. A plastic. This is PVC as a frame holding the plastic. This is UV or greenhouse plastic. Or you can use construction plastic. So you protect it from the weather. Keep the heat inside and they dry. If you look in this, this is all different type of forest where they cut. Loose seed and cast everything with the man them find them farm. They must cut and throw it in them drying over. When they're ready, they mix. You have, to, you have to turn this though. That's a practice you have to do. Turn it. It will develop more. So you turn and you use it as a feed out. So solar dryer, cheap. Go back home and go make some. You can use bamboo or anything. Mm -hmm. Make it. Which we talk about. Stored for long times. Better dry matter intake. The disadvantage it might be labor intensive. You might, if you have to get a guy on your farm now to go out and cut the grass for you, you have to do it. So it might cost you a little bit more, a little bit more activity on the farm, but it's good for your animals. So you weigh the cores and the prawns and you find a way to balance that labor cost.